on and on pit road and so those cameras will have to be put away right now and, and they're letting everyone know to seek shelter uh, as the severe weather is in the area and it is coming and so this is that front that Steve you mentioned earlier NASCAR was going to look at to see if it goes through how much rain is put down uh, if it's still light enough to run because there aren't lights here uh, at New Hampshire so we are waiting out a rain delay lightning has struck and the kids are still having fun on the back stretch so we'll wait it out with you make sure to stay with us he wins the championship he couldn't get by Ross Chastain who ended up winning in Phoenix but he did get that first championship yeah, it was the first champion we've seen to not win in the cup level. We've seen it in the other levels, but uh, so much, you know, he, he's a hard guy to read sometimes. He's relatively quiet, but he loves driving a race car. You can see the competitive fire. It's got, you know, he's another one. There's, there's a few drivers that I think you don't want to line up against in Phoenix, and he has to be one of them because of what he pulled off last year but when you look at the playoff standings it's going to be a really interesting summer because we're going to talk a lot about the guys that have won and can they find the right speed at the right time to move forward in the playoffs but when you get below you get down around So then it's quite cringe for me to watch. Yeah, uh, sure. Of course, you yeah. know most people don't like to watch themselves on TV, and then I have to see myself not really knowing I'm saying those things. So I will say, you know, that is one thing I was curious about. I was like, what do I verbalize, right? What do I say that I don't know if I'm saying it because it's so loud in there? We've got the, you know, you know, I've got coming on. Right. Right. That, that's where it's you know right. we're, just, we're at the right. beginning of the oh. entire evolution. We're not at the end of it, and and it's just having it has us waiting here because if we didn't have them i don't think we would be here i think that i think we would already call this race but the fact that they're here i think has opened a window but then nascar has to determine okay how are we going to use them in this situation and you know the trouble that they have is that if they do it and it works great then they should have done it earlier if they do it and it doesn't work well at all and there's problems from it then there's championship implications in it and right. that's that's just a tough spot for them to be in Oh, boy! Used to pour down. Let's see what Ryan Priest has to say about this weather. Yeah, Ryan Priest, uh, let's play weather, man. It's, it's raining a little it's bit harder. Would you like to see I us eventually get it. back on the racetrack and maybe try the wet weather tires? I think we had an opportunity there right when right when we came down pit road. But, um, I mean, it, it's tough to say. I don't know if this cell, I haven't looked at the weather and, and saw if it was going to clear out. But how long does it really dry? Because we don't have wipers, right? But, um. I mean, I'm, I'm all for doing whatever we end up doing just because we're so far back at this point anyways. Yeah, 28th in the running order. What have you guys been battling today? Where have you struggled? I mean, honestly, our car wasn't terrible. Um, we had been moving forward, just uh, an untimely caution, just lost pretty much all of our track position. And then, I mean, restart after restart, sometimes there's absolute chaos. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of when it rains, it pours. We saw contact between you and Corey LaJoy on the racetrack just a racing incident can you give us any insight onto what happened yeah i think i just ran out of the ran out of room couldn't go any higher there was the uh, fence and i haven't seen a replay so uh yeah it's just we're racing hard back there it is what it is and i think you're rolling the top and not really sure uh yeah i don't know couldn't go any higher but at the same time i understand Corey's trying to get all he can too so we're uh it's a battle back there I know this track means a lot to you. You have over two dozen mod starts here. You've come here with your father, your grandfather. A day like today that you're having, does it make that it that much more frustrating because this track means so much to you? Yeah, I'd say this weekend was pretty trying. It started off really well. Uh, we had a really fast modified, and, and I felt like we, were, we had a pretty good cup car. Um, just ultimately sometimes, you know, when it's not going your way, it's not going your way, and you just got to continue battling and fighting and, and wait for the good days where it seems like we have had a lot of bad days, but you know, one thing I will say is I, I want to thank United Rentals, Mohawk Northeast, uh, racechoice.com, and everybody that supports me, Haas Tooling and Sir Haas. So um, the good days hopefully come. 
I know there's uh, there's been a lot of news out there, but um, we're gonna keep fighting. So let's talk about the mods. Um, Justin Bonsignor, three-time mod champ, made his Xfinity Series debut. I know you watched the race. This community is so tight-knit up here. I know you know what he can do in a modified. Were you impressed with what he did yesterday? Yeah, I mean, we, we you know, Justin had been calling me probably for the last two months talking about it, and, you know, it wasn't surprising. I, I knew uh, Justin's won a lot of races, and he's, he's very capable. Um, so I feel like for a lot of us up here, I, I joke around and call it tuition. Um, so we don't always have those opportunities to do that. But certainly, you know, when we all do get those opportunities to go out there and feel like we can win in that car, we're going to go do it. And, um, you know, ultimately it didn't – the end of the race didn't go his way, but he, he impressed everybody. I, honestly, I love the way he came to pit road. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And finally, with the news that Stuart 